All right, so thanks for joining me here um, at midnight. And uh, we've got um, someone in Thailand too, so it's all different kind of time, time zones. So, so glad that you um, could join me on this amazing morning and this course of really birthing in that light. So welcome to this Christmas Eve and to birthing that light within us through our hearts. And we have been through a whole month of ending cycles and, um, and now we are starting with the new, creating new and moving into this new year. And so this course, we're going to be handing it over. And if you haven't seen my Instagram, it's at I hand it over, or you can um, go to my Facebook page, I hand it over. And this is a great way and a great community of people handing over what they don't want and also what they want. And also I will be doing a New Year's Day course too, so be looking for that. And before we get started, um, really the objective of today and what we're going to be doing, as we continue to move through the end of this month, we are still ending cycles, clearing blocks and patterns, and especially with family and people that are close to us, kind of what still is repeating and really seeing and identifying too where maybe we get stuck in these thoughts or these fears or anxieties and then they manifest maybe into pain or physical illness and these are the things that you want to hand over tonight and we're also going to be really creating to create more space to bring in new things and to clear more space and so what I mean by I hand it over is I hand it over is referring to when you are trying to maybe resolve a problem or you've been at something for a long time and you don't know what to do with it. Like no matter what you do, nothing changes. Or you could be in an incomplete cycle maybe of the past. And it's like as we've been looking this month at what hasn't worked, but you keep doing it. And so we're really looking tonight, handing that over. And handing that over means, you know, it, I have a process for it, but it is really moving it up, moving it out of your space, giving it up to source. This way we can be in relationship in the vertical, which allows us to create more space in our life. And when we have that space, then we can co-create and communicate with this light source. And so really what we're looking to do is bring in the new, bring in the light, bring in this new energy of joy and freedom, of peace, of health, of wealth, of new relationships. And the goal is really in this course tonight is to let go of where you're stuck and to identify what it is that you want to hand over, what it is that you want to give up. And also to let go of the external world, to identify where maybe your attention is stuck in a relationship or where it's stuck in a cycle or a loop, a mental pattern, where we can't seem to let that go. And we keep getting pulled out into the world, focusing on egotistic natures and self-destructive patterns. And so tonight we are clearing and creating the space so that you can really bring in light and fill up in a new way and be filled with source, opening up to grace, opening up really to be crowned with this divine glory that we are in the midst of, in calling in this radiant light, this tonight, especially kind of this Christ consciousness, that gold around that crown, bringing in that dawn of a new day. And many people maybe have many different pictures on that. And so um, it's kind of like if we can really focus on what it means in our heart and really be open, not necessarily to the 
definitions, but really allowing that light and that crown of that gold and that consciousness to transform our hearts. So we are coming with this open heart so it can be transformed into this light body, into that Christ light. And really, when we can open our heart into the wisdom of our heart, then we become a body of light. And the spiritual language is the language of pictures. And what I mean by pictures is when we are pure light and we imagine a vision or we imagine a star or see like an image, then we can project that picture out just like in our dreams. Like we can start to communicate with the pictures of light. This is a very spiritual language. And so tonight we are looking to be the embodiment of the light and then reflect new pictures out in the world of who we are based on our heart turning inward in this internal space. So that is what we're going to be working tonight. And so part of the teachings is what we're going to let go of and hand over. And this has to do with the past. And how does the past affect us? How do we get affected by holding on to maybe a pattern of where we continue to get stuck? And, you know, if you can't identify it in this moment, just even ask that question of what in your life do you want to end? In winter, we are in this time of endings. We are in this time of death. So we are coming out of that darkness when that solstice came on the 21st. It is the return of the light. And that return of the light is a reflection of that sun, the S-U-N, and the birth of the new sun coming out of the darkness. And it is also in the same time of the birth of the S-O-N, the Christ, in this time, representing the coming of the light, really bringing this light within our heart. So I want you to identify even one thing that you want to hand over. And in handing over something, um, a good process to do this in is right now you can just imagine it, but later on you could take a piece of paper like people are doing and write down, maybe it's a neurosis. I am handing over being neurotic. I am handing over my mother. I am handing over an addiction. And I just want you to think about something that you would like to hand over. And imagine, if you don't have that paper in front of you, just imagine putting that onto that paper, writing it on that paper, what you want to hand over. And as you imagine imprinting that on the paper, just move the energy of whatever that is onto that paper. One woman said this week, the codependency with my mother. And as you just kind of move whatever it is on that paper, you're dropping the energy out of the body onto that paper. And when you drop it out, then you take the paper and you hand it up. Like you raise your arms above your head. You hand it over to source. And this very simple act of just whatever you choose that you want to hand over, hold on to that paper and woof, move it up, hand it over. And as you imagine handing it over to source, you are clearing your field, you are clearing your space. What, what happens is when you move something up and over, you are raising it up to a higher plane to a higher vibration, to a higher level. When you connect it up, you're moving it vertical. And why this is important is because you're getting it out of your field and out of your space. But not only that, 
you are connecting and going into relationship with source, with light, whatever language you use, with the Lord, with the goddess, hooking it up, handing it over. When you connect upward and hand it over, then you're saying you deal with it. Many times what happens is we get into a pattern or a dynamic and we can't get out of that circuit. The one client I had this week was saying that she talks to her mother every day because her mother need, is very needy and she's got a lot of pain, a lot of problems. And so she calls my client every day. And the reason why my client talks to her all the time is because when she's tried to put a boundary up, what has happened is the mother will even go more hysterical. And so for my client, she allows the mother to run her the mother's energy through my client as a way of trying to keep her at bay. But what this does is it does damage to both people. Because when you allow someone to run their energy through you, then you're managing their problems. You're in this dynamic where both of you are intertangled. And with that, there is no growth or freedom. There is no light. And so in a perfect situation like this, of something that you don't know how to get out of, where it's such an entanglement that it is this duality going back and forth, and many times, and I want you to just notice something in your life where maybe you feel a threat or maybe you, you feel afraid to set a boundary or even, you know, tell someone, no, nope, I'm not going to, you know, or not even telling them no, just you feel that threat. The moment you say something, the moment you try to make that boundary. And you can feel that intensity coming at you or the strength of, you know, that power is even stronger. But instead of taking that in, I want you to write the name down or write whatever it is down that you're dealing with and, and just imagine that now and really raise your arms up, connect it. I'm handing this over. And even if you don't raise your arms up, I want you to just imagine woof, really sending this up because what happens then is this. In most relationships, there is so much dynamic because it's very interesting, even in the client that showed up, the left side you know, of her body was kind of empty. So she's kind of half there. And that left side is where her mother just runs the energy right through her. It's like this, this void and this emptiness. And so half of her disappears. And the moment then she handed her up and over, she created space for a new energy to come in. Instead of her mother, the light started to come through and in. The field came in. The star, the Lord, the Christ the goddess, whatever, whatever languaging that you use. And so this way, you're, you're actually connecting to a source of light. And that light starts to come in and through you. And so even by this, this action, it is so profound, so simple, so important. So the first part is writing it down. The second part is raising it up. And then letting it go. I'm handing it over. I'm going to let it go. And that third part is saying, fill me up with the light. And as you say, fill me up with the light, I am the light. Focusing in your heart. When you focus your attention and place your attention in your heart, you open to the wisdom of your heart. You create this openness like a cup. You must be empty before you can be filled with the light. You are inviting grace in and you're inviting the light. And by doing this simple thing, not only are you doing that, but 
you are creating a connection, communication to the source, and you're creating a co-creation of your saying, okay, you know what? I've dealt with this for 40 years. <laughs> Here you go. You do it. I'm done. <laughs> and and why, why I'm laughing is because, you know, we, we tend to hold on to things, to control things, because, you know, we want to feel in control because we maybe felt so out of control growing up. And so we have to control everything. And it is a false sense of freedom because what ends up happening is we get overtaken with whatever we're trying to control. So I just want you to imagine something else that you want to let go of, something else you want to hand over. And I want you to imagine just writing that down. I want to hand over my relationship. And and then I want you, here you go, raise it up, connect it to source. I'm handing it over. Here you go. And let it go. Like even woof, with your hands, let go of it. And I'm asking to fill me up with the light. And even place your hands on your heart. I am the light. As that light moves in your heart. And then I want you to even maybe, if, you, if there's an object around you, I use objects many times because it is a great way of getting out energy. Maybe you have an anxiety, or maybe you have a fear, or maybe you're obsessing about something, or you have OCD and you just, you just can't stop. And so take an object now, and I want you to place it in your hands. And say something else that you would like to hand over. You want to hand over maybe your money issues, if you have any. If you don't have money issues, maybe it is giving too much. Maybe it's about being controlling. So just place and identify what it is first. And then place your attention on that object. And drop all your energy into that object. And then kind of open your hands and I hand it over and say what it is. I hand over as you raise your hands, controlling people, my excess weight, whatever it is, I hand it over. Here you go. And, and I want you to just feel it release and let go. And I want you to even this time say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for taking this. <laughs> and, and then I want you to put your hands on your heart and say, fill me up with the light. I am the light. When you look upward and you hand something over, you connect to the light. And in that moment, you are filled with the light. With objects, it's important it was very interesting this week with um, a few clients. Um, they called me new clients and um, it was interesting because they've been stuck for a long time and, um, and they got a depression. All these things happened when they moved into a new house and the way the person was talking, I could tell that it wasn't, who they were. It was, they, they sounded like an 80 year old person, an 80 year old woman. And I'm like, this is not actually your obsession because I could see that, um, this person has very clean and clear pictures before the time they moved into this house. And I said, is there any object in this house that, um, you know, is of the person? It looks like, it looks like an old woman died in the house. And, um, and that happened. And so I said, and she said that there was an object that the person left behind that is still in the house. And I said, get rid of the object. Now, here's what you have to know too. It's like, if you think about a prayer bead or a cross that, you know, some people are praying 
to a prayer bead or a cross and you know and their energy is moving into it they've created a relationship with the object and in that if they're using it as a tool they're using it as a tool to connect with create this relationship kind of a co-creation space and it's the representation maybe of that Christ maybe of a goddess maybe of whatever they're using it for but what happens too that many of us you know when we pass on if we are connecting our energy so much into an object we get stuck and attached and even in this other house clearing that I did this week this was amazing because somebody gave um, this person you know a cross because they didn't want to throw it out because it was connected to somebody they knew and so what happened is instead of throwing it out they gave <laughs> they gave it to my client <laughs> and the house turned upside down literally turned upside down and the husband who is not sensitive um, felt uh, something like touch him and um, and then the doorbell kept ringing like at 3 in the morning and no one was at the door and so so what, what did we do to clear it so how to you know when you work with objects like even I'm saying now you have an object you want to get rid of something it is a great way of boom you know putting your pain in it putting your anxiety in it but most people just stop there it's like a prayer bead you're praying you know you're getting energy out you're clearing it so then you hand it over you move it vertically you raise the vibration of it then you can release that energy that even was stuck in you that moved into the object and you move it up and out this is why when we're in relationship with people we have to make sure we are connected upward that we are vertical because if they're running their energy in us then our energy is going in them and then we get stuck and we get anxieties or fears and a lot of times I want you to be very aware of when you get obsessive because those thoughts are entities they just kind of and what are entities entities are just ghosts people that have died people that have gotten stuck and so a lot of times you know they'll hook into us because they haven't found their way and what is really finding your way it is connecting up to source connecting up to the light connecting up to a higher power and it's more difficult than you think <laughs> and so the other way um, we are handing it over most people on um, on Instagram they've been saying what they want to hand over I want to hand over my credit cards and I don't know if you saw that post today the person that handed over their credit cards um, actually went to church after and uh, she was given a card like a Christmas card with $200 in it I'm like wow that's some church you're going to church and they're <laughs> paying you <laughs> that's pretty good church <laughs> anyway um, and so and, and another great story of handing it over um, my mom she, um, she she has this huge big wood pile chips in her in her driveway and my brother's like mom you're not gonna get rid of that no one's gonna pick it up and she put free and I'm like mom why don't you hand that over and she actually I didn't even know it was sitting there she's had it sitting there for a month and she goes I'm gonna hand it over literally the next day five different people came over completely cleared out her driveway no more chips <laughs> and so um, so this is the beauty of handing what you don't want over and really getting it out of your space another way you know I'll use it too is I'll even have a little card there and you know it's kind of like we live in families we're in relationship and if somebody is just going up I'll just keep kind of throwing up the sign of of what I want to hand over I just keep doing it keep doing it, it it's very interesting what will happen in that relationship because really what you're looking to do is not get in conversation you don't want conversation when something gets sticky you're just hand it over 
I'm letting go of it. I'm, I'm giving it up. And that means that you have changed the relationship because you're vertical now. And then it creates a change in the people around you. Another way to hand it over is of what we want. Because now we are moving out of the past. We are creating space. And people ask me, well, how many times do I hand over something? Well, if something comes up, I hand it over. And so we're kind of looking to really good at woof, really quick. But the other way of handing it over is in creating things. And so in creating something, I don't just want you to identify, you know, something that you do want. Maybe it's joy. Maybe it's peace. Being happy. Maybe it's just being fit. Having a new kitchen. All of these things that you do want. And this process is the same. I want you to imagine writing something down of what you want. And then I want you to even just say it aloud. I hand over and then lift up your white sign, put it up kind of on a sheet of paper and really hand it over and let go of it. And when you're connecting upward to source, you're saying hello to what you want to exist. You are asking source, hey, what do you think of this? This is a co-creation process. I'm handing this over. I'm letting it go. It's like having a very deep, connected person that you trust, that you are in agreement with, and you know, you're just getting rid of it. You're handing it off. Because co-creation in anything, if, you, if you're in a creative process, it's like, hey, what do you think about this? And then it's the yes and. Hey, yeah, and what about that? Even necessarily if you're not in agreement, it is this flow and this movement and this excitement of, hey, source, hey, I'm handing this over. What do you think? And by getting it out of your space, it creates a, a space for you to open up so something new can drop through. This is like the book that I'm writing out of thin air. And it's like opening up, woof, something dropping in. So with what you hand it over, let's just put our hands on our heart and fill me up with the light. I am the light. Placing your attention inward on your heart. And Let's do another intention of something that you want. And try it with an object this time. Grab maybe another object of what you want. It's like I have what you don't want and what you want balls, like squishy balls that I have my clients use. So um, grab something. I have a candle in hand. And say what you want. You want a healthy body. You want a great relationship. You just want happiness. Just being fulfilled. And just put your energy in it. Drop the energy and this wish in this object. And with your hands, just palms kind of open. Just hand it up and over. I hand, I hand it over. And say what it is. I hand over being healthy. I hand over, and as you hand that over and raise it to a higher power, just really let that go and do the handoff. And feel what that feels like connecting and moving upward with your energy, being vertical, being connected to source. And then just place your hands over your heart, fill me up with the light. Fill me up with that gold light. Ask that gold to come in and through, and I am that light. And just focus on your breath as you open to the wisdom of your heart. And just see that you are an empty vessel. Since we've been Letting go, handing over what we don't want, handing over what we want. 
that you are emptied out. And it is when we are empty that we can be filled up with something new. <coughs> and just breathe, inhale as you focus on your heart. Hold your breath for two counts. And exhale. Imagine that this light from above is filling your heart and filling your bubble up, your space around you. And I want you to imagine a star above you. And that star represents that star of something being born, Christmas. Something, the light coming through, through that star. A new life being born. And I want you to see that light coming from that star in its vertical, filling you up. And as you're focused on your heart, just notice in this time, and especially at Christmas, all the things that pull us out, all of the external distractions. And just notice if your attention moves outward, if it goes on to something. And continue to move your attention back into your heart in order to have a birth tonight in celebration of the birth we must move our attention in our heart to be born again it means purity of the heart the sacred heart it means to let go of egoism to empty yourself out and you shall be filled. Be born again in the heart. Open the heart to this wisdom so that tonight, today, you can be born again with this new light in this new life. The holy Christmas time is taking place within your heart. By handing it up and over, you're allowing that heart to open, to celebrate this Christmas in you. And as you focus on the heart, imagine this golden light from that star above shining on your heart. That is where the birth is taking place. See that birth within your heart. That symbol of even the cross, it's very interesting if you, if you know what my loop looks like. It looks like a cross, but it actually has a diamond in the center, and it is an infinity loop connecting all four sides of the loop, the vertical and the horizontal. And in a way, when I look at that symbol, what does that cross mean? What does that symbolize? You know, in a Christianity sense, it would symbolize Christ gave, you know, his life for our sins. But when I look at that loop and that portal, it is a portal. And, and what I mean by that, in a sense, the cross or the Christ on the cross, it is showing us the way in and out. The way in that diamond of the heart is where light comes into the body, comes out of the body. It is that birth where light comes in, where we're born again, our hearts are born, born again, because this birth that we're talking about tonight is an internal birth. And then when we're looking kind of at the Christ and what his journey was, it was that transfiguration where a complete change and formed happened to him spiritually in a state of light. And so this is the same transfiguration that we are going through by turning inward, focusing on our heart, connecting our heart to the light above. That the loop is the portal. What does that mean? It is where that resurrection and the ascension happen. The resurrection is coming back to life after death, 
and the ascension is after those 40 days rising up to a higher level. If you don't have the symbol of my loop, I can send it out if you email me at kimbellissimo at me.com or go to my website. But, but this loop, I want you to look at that loop or imagine just the diamond in your heart and the infinity loop, which moves to the right and left. The infinity loop is the external world. It is duality. It is where most people live their life. Christmas time is about focusing inward, focusing on the light within us, having this rebirth of that light. In different times, as far as the solstice, it is the return of the sun, S-U-N, and in this time it is the return of the Christ sun. But when we focus within our heart, what we're doing is we're taking our attention off the materialism, off the being egoic, off of all of these neurotic things where we get our attention stuck, and we are bringing it into the heart, unifying the duality into wholeness, creating a birth of light. And not only that, but the vertical infinity loop, connecting to the star, connecting into the planet, moving that loop right into the heart, where it is about Christ's journey, him coming from light, being born, and in that birth, the transfiguration of light, where we bring all of the above and below, the negative, the positive, in the heart, and then it is our way out, the resurrection, and then the ascension. When, when I look at a person kind of in their field, I see this loop. Many times, it's not just across like two-dimensionally or three-dimensionally. It's spheres overlapping together. And when they overlap, when that heart is open, there is this transfiguration, this, this state of light that comes out. And that is what we are asking to be born in our hearts, born in that state of light today. And in a sense, I see the journey that Christ took because when I see all of these spirits hooked in, entities attached on, people stuck, they, they can't find their way out. You could be praying your whole life, you can be religious, but if, you know, we get stuck, we get stuck. And so, in a sense, that cross and that symbol represents a portal of how to come into the life, how to lead the life, how to bring light in, how to be connected to the light. Because we all get taken over at times. And when we do, we have to return to the heart. Because when we open to that wisdom of the heart, we could be born again kind of that path of what Christmas is showing us, this holy Christmas time. And it's very interesting when you look at the story of the wise men or, you know, the people that saw a star, the Magi. And Magi means magic. They saw a star in the sky. It was a new star, a star that wasn't there before, some, some type of astronomy that is like there's a new star they followed that star they responded to that star and I want you to be aware of when you see something new in creating anything you have to be able to see a new star something new not the same old stuff again and again not the same old anxieties the same where you're stuck a lot of times it's very hard to create something new when you can't see anything new. And so I invite you to be looking for a star. We are in the time of seeing a new star, seeing magic, and responding. When you see something new, it is very important that there is a response. That this is meant for something new, a new life for you. And be looking for this new life. See it. And what are you going to do with it? 
It is the response that creates the reality. So imagine the star above you and you can see that light coming into your heart, the birth of Christ, the birth of light. And feel that new life exploding out of you, something new. With this living in you, you can respond in a new way, in a way that you've never responded before. Focus on that heart and that breath and keep your attention on that light. When you think about the wise men following the star and when they found the star, they found a stable. And in that stable, there was Mary and from the darkness, from her womb, the dark womb, came the sun, came the light. And Christ, I don't know about the date, if we're really right in the date, but still the, the, the example is that Christ was born in the dark of night, in midnight. So this light that was born, and it represents the heart, the sacred heart. Let that light shine. Let your heart shine so wherever you go, you can bring light into the darkness. In the heart, this is that space of mercy, of compassion, of love, of selflessness, of faith, of non-attachment. And just for a moment, place your hands on your heart and ask to be filled up with that light that light of mercy. And the anointed one means, the Christ is the anointed one. It just means putting oil on. So just see that oil, that golden oil, filling you up with compassion. Filling you up with love. Filling you up with faith. And the ability to not attach. That is why we hand it over. Because when we're attached to something, now we're stuck. And today is the day that we break free of slavery. Where we overcome that spiritual or, you know, that materialism and have spiritualism. Where today we are fully focused on the spirit, spiritualism in our hearts. The heart is the portal of light. And when you are focused here, you are never lost. That you know how to move in the vertical. You know how to move in this world of duality where it seems so crazy and nutty. So what is the result of doing this practice, I hand it over. There's magic in it. The more you can hand something over, the more you are connected, the more you are raising the vibration of it, the more you are non-attached, the more you create a pathway to that star, to that source, so that you are connected to the light because you are a light being and allow that light to fully come into you, that you are, I am the light, and calling that light in. What is the result of handing over what you want? When you hand over what you want, you know, many times too, we talk about intentions, and we're never attached to our intention, but we ask for our intention because we are creators. And we're wanting to get in a co-creation process. So just by asking source, hey, what do you think about this? Here you go. It gets in a process of yes and. Because what happens many times when, you know, you bring up a creation or an idea, maybe with a partner or with someone around you and they shoot it down. Or there's just nothing coming back. And when you hand it over to 
source always something will come back. It may not be in how you think it should be, but there is a circuit. There is a loop. And this is the deepest relationship you can experience. So what is the result of opening and embracing the light? Kind of the birth of Christmas in your heart. When you can really open to the wisdom of your heart, you are the light. And something new can be birthed. Something of the unknown. Your responses change. Light and life seem very different. That you're the embodiment of it. And you can find your way no matter where you're at in this world. And even when you die. <laughs> because literally, what are we practicing for? I mean, as they say, he came in to die for our sins. Well, he came in to show us the way. He, you know, coming in through the, through the portal, out of the portal. Being free, not getting stuck. So what you learned kind of is if we hold on to anything, we create the past. If we don't hand it over, we can't create enough space. And so you learned what, and part of that process in the community of at I hand it over, and then I'm going to have it on Facebook too, is, and it's amazing because when you hand it over, and do it as many times as you can, you can take a picture or you have me take a picture and put it up, but it actually, it really helps people. There, there was one client that said, and it's very hard, there's one picture in there where it says my pain, and you can't see pain, it's kind of my and the paper's bent, but this one client honed into that picture because she had a match with the pain. And in order to really clear something, you have to have a match. And so this is an amazing kind of database of pictures that when you just see that picture or somebody, like somebody has guilt, somebody else had guilt, it's like match and clear. Just seeing that is your match and it gives you the ability to clear it, which is a very powerful way because, you know, even for me, it was like, okay, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, it's more of an agreement with this community of we're not holding on to things. We're letting it go. We're handing it over because we are connected in the heart and focused our attention in the heart, bringing in this new light so that we can see in this world because it's very hard to see, very dark in this world. And we have to be lanterns of light. That way we can move through the world and really come, you know, live our life meant to how we came here and what we were supposed to do and how we were supposed to be. And so use that, use Instagram, you know, as a way of, you know, matching and clearing, you know, what it is that you're dealing with. And in, under each post, I comment on them too, as far as dynamic and what people are going through because all of these things that we are um, handing over we are all dealing with it on some level or we can relate and when you see that you support the verticalness because we want to be in a community that's vertical we don't want to be you know horizontal with people and dynamic and playing out our past or our genetic line we want to be in a very clean and clear relationship and so this Christmas, this Christmas is really showing us this birth of a new life in our hearts, that our hearts are birthing kind of this Christ light, meaning it's a consciousness, really a new way of being. And we are being able to transfigure and have transfiguration of a complete change in form to a state of light. And this resurrection coming back, woo, after the dead, meaning, you know, we don't have to die in order to resurrect our hearts. This is about an internal transformation. So us coming out of our dead life and the darkness into light and the ascension, you know, so it's going to kind of, we're working 
in the next 40 days, we're really working the ascension, living our life in this higher level, like really committed to this gold consciousness within us, owning that crown of glory. And so thank you so much for joining me on this Christmas Eve and this birth of the light within your heart. Your heart just birthed a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so may it be with the blessing of source and the light in Christ that this, this be complete. And I am going to take you off mute to see if you have any questions. Um, the question was, um, the person was kind of going in and out, meaning semi-conscious. Um, and that is a very natural state to be in. It's actually a very good sign because the way energy work works is a lot of times we get to a point and we pop out and we, the spirit, the spirit knows what it's doing, but the body, um, is starting to go in a growth period. And so, um, it's not a problem at all. Actually, what I do is I listen to my audios even after the fact, and that happens to me too. And it just absorbs it in the body. So I'll even listen to these, um, when I go to bed because it's not about having full understanding, but it is just allowing the energy to do the work. And so, um, it is a natural state of ascending. Like we talked about, we talked about ascension <laughs> and then bringing in it in the body. And that's what we're mastering because our spirit can just pop and can leave. And, um, even though, you know, it's, it's easier to be out of the body to get it than it is to be in the body. And then we continue to bring it in the body. So thank you for that. Got it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Are there any other questions? Yes, Kim, should we throw away? Very good question. Uh, the question was, should we throw away any objects we use? Um, you know what? No, because um, that's you just hand it over and you make it vertical in handing it over. If you know, a lot of people that use objects don't make it vertical. And so um, I use objects all the time, like my, my energy balls and stuff. And so in other objects, it's very helpful and useful, especially if you um, get thrown in a situation, maybe you're out in public and you want to ground, I ground to a table, and then, then you just um, hand it over. So you make it vertical. So it actually, um, it eliminates all of that. So you don't have to throw out your objects unless maybe they're haunted. Thank you for joining and to find out more about my courses go to kimbellissimo.com and to join our community at Facebook at I Hand It Over and also at Instagram at at I Hand It Over and at Kim Bellissimo and look forward to creating in a new way for a new year.